So I wanted to do an unboxing of the Meeple copy of Great Wall because you don't see, I think the only Meeple copy unboxing that I've seen is in French, I believe. The rest of them are all uh, the uh, unboxings for the uh, uh, the mini copy. So this is Great Wall. Um, I already opened this one um, because I started to record it and forget to press record. So I put everything back in as much as I could. I like, can see I left this piece off, this piece out of the... Uh, this box, every other box of minus this one is, a, I've never seen it before. So, uh, we're going to do a quick opening here. I'll go through what I went through before. It's great wall. You have to excuse my gimbal, it uh, decided that it wants to, uh, it wants to track the uh, box, which is kind of funny that it did that. So, excuse me for the gimbal. So there's a rule book. Um, a lot of people call it a thin rule book, it's only 16 pages, but in truth and actuality, it's very dense. Um, it's uh, a lot of words, no uh, um, real pictures. I've been told that the rule book is a little bit of a mess. Um, by my friends that have played it, they said that the game is good, but they said that there's like it'll explain something in one area here that was never referenced before in the rule book. And you're kind of like, why is it talking about this when it wasn't referenced at all in the rule book anywhere else? And it's referencing that it referenced it before, but it didn't, or something like that, or it explains something here that that it should be attached to something way back here. So it's it's uh, apparently it's not that great, but apparently through some of the online forums, through BGG and whatnot, you can actually figure it out. But uh, so that's the rule book. In the topper shows the component list. It'll show the component list. You'll see here. It'll show the component list of of uh, the Meeple copy down here at the bottom, which is what I have, and then the mini copy at the top. And everything else is shared resources. So then these are the player screens. There's. Um, Four player screens because the fifth player is in I think the stretch goal or one of the expansions. So there's your blue, your red, your green, and your yellow, and the inside is a uh, player eight I think. Yeah, player eight. You turn order and stuff for how it works I believe. This is the board. It's a six fold board, double sided ones. The both sides are virtually the same. Minus some spots. Uh, one side is for three players. Which is this side here, you can see here the three-player marker here. And the other side is for four and five players, which is what you're going to see here once I undo it. It's a really big board, so we're going to span out so you can see it a little bit. I'm going to span out so you can see a little bit. Apparently, my there we go. I'm going to span a little bit. So it only lets me go as far as that, but you can, I'm going to take a tour of it here, oops, put that piece down, so cut it on wire from the computer, so I could put it down here, so there we go, there we go, you see you there, nice detailed board, beautiful art on the board, very nice, I'm going to fold that back up and get that packed away, these are the stickers for the meeples, uh, a lot of stickering to be done. I see. Not a big fan of stickering, but when there's meeples, apparently you gotta sticker them. So I mean, I got the meeple copy because I'm a, I'm a big Euro gamer. I'm not a uh, I'm not a uh, minis gamer or a uh, thematic type of a gamer that most Broken Realms games are. This game intrigued me because of just what the placement. These are the Great Wall pieces and punch boards. Apparently, one of the complaints is that this won't fit in the base game or in the base box core box when it is punched or when it's assembled nice thick punch board nice thick punch board so for the side so this is the part here that I said I forgot to put this on this is where I realized that I wasn't recording so this comes on like this you open it up you get this here this is pretty much the point where I was at I just opened up this this card pack here to see what the card art was like and then I realized that I wasn't recording so I get nice and close to this nice card art. I'm not going to go through all the cards but you can see I'm gonna get them off and you can see the nice so I focus on that a little bit nice art on that and yeah, this is using my cell phone camera I didn't take my DSLR out but, oh Jesus lots of these guys whatever these guys are these are probably the masters or something I'm not quite sure what they are yeah, obviously, characters go down here. 
Don't know what this is, but obviously Fall of the Academy, whatever that is. I'm playing it this week, I believe. I'm playing it this week, I believe. Let's see if I get it to focus there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Uh, let me pull it a little bit. Uh, I had a problem focusing on those smaller words, but get the idea. These are nice acrylic tokens here. These are done in player colors, so they're obviously player markers of some sort. Again, I've not played the game, so I'm not quite certain what they are, but I'm going to assume, based on the fact that they're done in player colors, that they're. Uh, uh, they're um, player markers of some sort. More cards. Some bigger cards. I'm not going to open up all the card packs. If you really want to see an in-depth version of the card packs, you can actually you can look at one of the mini unboxings. Uh, they There's tons of them that are longer that they go through almost every card. This is more or less to show the Meeple version. Everything like, that I'm showing you right now is the same as what the minis version is. Even the resource tray, so it's a nice resource tray that comes out. These are meeples down here, we'll go through them in a second. But a quick little for your gems. I'm not gonna go through more, a lot of it. The meeples is what I really want to highlight here. I want to make this a shorter video, but these these are your gems. Can't focus because there's so many of them. I'll open up all that a little bit just to show you what the gems look like, I guess. I'll be able to, I'll be able to pack it up, but there's your gem right there. There's your gem right there. There's your gem. Uh, tears or drops of blood of some sort. I don't know. Again, I don't know what the name of the game is, but it's like drops of blood or something. These look like they're gold nuggets. Nuggets. These are wooden, wooden, uh, wooden resources here. This is uh, wood. Wooden resource. It's wood. Fancy that, eh? I can see that. There. It's wood. And this would be stone, I believe. Yep, stone. Nice tray that. Now, if you would have done the realistic resource upgrade, I don't know how to fit in this tray. Uh, this is good. So shut this up for now. The main affair in this copy is the. I have to better so I can put it away so we can get to the different boxes. So we definitely want to. This is the meeples. So three packages of meeples. And all the player colors, and the four player colors, you'll see here. Nice chunky meeples. That all have to be sticker, but again, this is this is their this is not one of their normal thematic uh, story type games that they normally do. This is more of a worker placement type game, which is new to Awaken Realms or just different than what they normally do. And I thought Meeple would work because a lot of my games are meeples. So, now here's the, show, show a couple of them here just to, just to show. There's a horse. They're not, they're not bad meeples, they're actually pretty, they're actually pretty nice. So stickers, stickers might look nice when we get on there. I'm not entirely sure. But um, I'm happy with the quality of meeples, Some nice chunky wood. You know, they're, they're pretty thick for, they're pretty thick for, uh, for uh, a nice meeple. Like, pretty, pretty happy they're, they're, they're not a thin meeple. For sure. Let's see if I can get some of the main guys. These are, look like they're more common than the rest of them, so I'll chuck this up as the main guy. Look at that. Nice chunky. Nice chunky meeples. Gives you a nice feeling of a year with these meeples. Again, that's the player pieces there. 
These are all done in colors again. So you got your yellows over here, your blues, and your greens right there. This uh, didn't do it so messily because you know, it was just flying through this to get this out there. It goes like this. This goes on top. This is a piece, like I said, that this is where we realized that I was recording. I wasn't recording. I'll punch these later. Stickers on top of that. Board on top of that. Player shields. Real book. What I really find cool, it's kind of cool is that it's black. It's black inside. I mean, not, not many games do that. Merlin was Merlin was one of the first ones that uh, I noticed did a black box. So next, let's do the stretch goals. Took the cellophane off this one earlier, but never went into it. Stretch goal rule book. Again, lists the meeples versions and the and the uh, and the mini version. The rules, ancient chronicles. Fifth player, the route expansion. Extra player shield for the extra faction. More stickers, because I love my stickers. I'll add a nice little bit to the to the uh, meeples, but there's stickers, I'm not a big fan of stickers. Comes off. This here is the dragon that was uh, the... Uh, it was the... If you back on the first day, so apparently you get a you get a dragon uh, mini even if you get the meeple version, which is kind of cool. Um, even if if you back on the first day, that's that's what that is. So beautiful quality, almost makes me regret not backing the meeple copy, but or the uh, mini copy. Again, I'm gonna be playing the mini copy I think next week, so I'll have lots of regret probably then. But it's a nice mini. Um. Pretty tight fit, so they obviously yeah, it's a pretty tight fit. This is I don't know what this is, but this is another flatter mini. Yeah, flatter mini for sure. Looks nice. Don't know this is. This is obviously the rat expansion. I think it's right. Yeah, this is the rat expansion. Should look at it. This is the rat mini. Is it the rat mini? Let's see if I focus. There we go. Get a little bit of focus. That's the rat mini. Again, this is apparently the rat and the dragon. You got even if you get the meeple copy. Um, so we got more cards. Again, if you want to get more into the cards, if you watch one of the uh, unboxings from the uh, meeple version, they'll go through the cards. This is to more or less just show you what the meeple versions of stuff looks like. Genghis Khan. I help you with that. More cards here. It's a nice, it's a nice quality. Oh, I will open up these ones just to take a look at these ones. They're a nice, like nice, nice quality. You can tell there's a. I think there's linen finish on these. I can't tell. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. But they're a little bit thicker. So, pop these back in there. There you go. And some more acrylic pieces, the same as the pieces that we had shown before in the other colors. Some extra meeples. Mostly for an expansion. This is uh, uh, Genghis Khan, maybe? I don't know. I'd look at the rule book. Uh, Genghis Khan, maybe? I'll look at the rule book right now. Let's see what that is. That is Genghis Khan. Uh, and then extra player pieces. So your orange meeples, which is a nice orange, I'm not going to go through them all again, nice chunky meeples. Looks virtually the same as the other, as the other, uh, copies. More cards up here. Uh, cardboard probably gets added to the board for, I'm going to say the fourth, fifth player maybe? Just four on so who knows. More cards. Again, I'm going to a more detailed card review. There's tons of unboxings for the mini versions, and they go through all the cards, and it's really nice. I just wanted to focus on the on the Meeple version because there's a Meeple version unboxing out there that is in English that I found. Lift up this. Nothing underneath it. Again, I love this black box. So I'll shut that. Uh, yeah, I'll shut that like this. 
We'll put that, that there, that there. Oops, player screen too. Put this over here. Uh, let's go with the black powder expansion. Watch out when you're uh, trying to open a box. Don't hit the camera, which is what I just did. <laughs> which is what I did. That's fine. Here we go. Black powder expansion. Again, this is the Meeple version. Rule book, this is very thin. Very thin, that's what comes in it. Again, it shows you the Meeple version and the uh, mini version. And punch board. More pieces, uh, towers to go to the Great Wall. Yeah, towers. Probably bases to the towers, I imagine. I'm not quite sure. Stickers, because why not sticker the other Meeple? So, oh, and more little stickers yeah for someone that doesn't that doesn't like stickering there's an awful lot of stickering ahead for me great wall these are nice chunky oh, oh, these are chunky these are the tur these are turtles these are these guys these are these are these guys the turtles it looks like holy crap are they hyper chunky oh my god that is a meeple like Holy God, that's chunky! Look at how look at how thick that is! Wow! 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 That's that that's a that's a. If you were to throw that at someone's head, that might knock them out. That's a pretty chunky meeple. And there's three of them in there, and there's three of them in the box. Wow, that's a that's a pretty beefy meeple. I think the only meeple I've seen that's bigger than this, or you know, as chunky as this. Is the first player marker in in um, in uh, Raccoon Tycoon the the uh, the uh, f the uh, I'm looking at it right now the 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 Raccoon Meeple which was which is beefy and then when they did the Fat Cat expansion they decided to add a fat cat like a beefy fat cat in it <laughs> this has got to be almost as thick as that and I think I think I think it is as thick as that it's you know feels nice and chunky it's a, it's a big meeple there there's a lot of wood in there. More player pieces here. Yeah, nice chunky wood. Some siege pieces here or something. This is... Uh, look at the pictures here. This thing, whatever this thing is. It's pretty beefy. Not as beefy as a turtle. I mean, it's thicker than these guys, for sure. Like, you can see, you can see comparative thickness here. This is probably twice as thick as one of these. Maybe one and a half, maybe one and a half as thick as one of these. But the turtle, the turtle, I mean, if you compare the turtle, this is just, the turtle's probably like four or five thick, thick, thick these. It's massive, like massive. So it's a, it's a, I mean, it's still a pretty substantial meeple. I don't know if you'd call it a meeple, probably a, it's a bow and arrow, so we'd call it like an arable. I don't know. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad puns for that. But I mean, there's there's some pretty there's some pretty nice ones. Here's another one. This one is. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna keep this here because that's this. Again, it's pretty 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 beefy. We've already gone over this guy, I think. Yeah, this guy is uh, uh, this. I think. Yep, that. And then we have this, which is your cannon, it's right there, it's a cannon meeple, it's pretty, pretty thick, pretty thick, and then over in this place here, ah, cool, we got some ladders and stuff too, please don't tell me I'm putting stickers on the rungs of the ladder, because that would be really hard to do, but yeah. Uh, no, I don't see any stickers for ladders. 
The ladder. Look at that. Ladder for the Great Wall, I guess. For the guys that are going to invade the Great Wall and go over the Great Wall. Look at that. Nice and beefy. Like, look. Look. Look at the quality of that. For a non... I mean, these version, the quality is really good. This is... A siege engine, maybe? No, this is... Uh, back to the stickers. This thing right here. This thing right here. Nice and beefy. Um... This is uh, this thing here. I don't know what you call it, but you see it in the movies. But that's this thing right here, right there. It's pretty cool, pretty beefy. And I think it's it for that bag. I still, I still, I'm in awe at these. Freaking turtles! Like that's like I know I show these off a lot, but that's that's freaking huge. That's a freaking like look look at this thing. Put that on the board. Right, look, put it right there. That's huge. That's freaking massive. That turtle's massive. It's like substantial. Is what that thing is. Right, put that in there. Put everything back in here. Um, again, you get some. I think I already showed those up, but that's there. Some mini cards up here. Nothing underneath. Nope, nothing underneath. Just a silica pack that fell there. So I'll put this over here. Cap that off. Put that there. Put the board here. Put that there. Uh, the box cover. Oh, it's substantial. Now this is the Ancient Beasts. That's some of meeples that are in there. Let's see if there's anything beefier than that turtle. Right here. There's no hope that this is getting fit in one or two boxes. Ancient Beast expansion. Again, there's your minis. There's your... Meeples. Whew, more stickers because I needed more stickers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And... Well, a lot in this one. we we'll probably like the smaller box. Nothing as substantial as a turtle, but still pretty nice. Pretty pretty, pretty nice meeples. Or a catapult, or a, whatever you want to call it. Catapult. That's funny. And there's a dragon meeple. Yeah, it looks like a dragon or something. Whatever this is, maybe a phoenix? Yeah, it's a phoenix. It's a phoenix. This thing's a phoenix. It's a, it's a, let me just drop that. It's a nice, it's a nice meeple. Like, pr pretty nice. Pretty nice meeple. Pretty substantial for, for what they are. They didn't cheap out on the meeple copy. Uh, don't know what you'd call this, but this is this thing right here. A dragon maybe yeah it does look it is a dragon actually it's a it's a thinner dragon again pretty pretty substantial um already done this guy here this guy here is um whatever this beast is it looks like kind of like a dragon but that you ride And then there's this guy. Actually, we already did the Phoenix. Uh, I don't know if we did this guy here. I think we may have did the Catapult. Yes, it was cat the, the, the Catapult. And as I'm saying that, we have my cat walking in front of the camera. One of my cats. Probably curious what I'm doing. So I'll put those back in here. Back of cards. Again. There is de there is many um, unboxings that are pretty long that actually go detailed into what's in every one of these. I just wanted to show off the meeple copy. More cards. Still look back.
I'll put that back in the box here. I'm going to be interested to try to see how many boxes I can fit this in. Surprise box. Apparently this is uh, something that Awaken Realms does. Nice metal coin. I don't know what uses. Maybe first player token. I'm not sure what this is. Apparently this is supposed to be a giveaway once this is. I have no idea what, no idea what that is, so... Nice token, I'm not sure what that's for, but probably could use it as a first player marker or something. It's, it's pretty nice, pretty, pretty substantial. And Waken Realms, Gaijin. Um, Gaijin the game, so it's a game, I guess? I'm not sure, it's a book. I know that they've shown this off. It's a it's an art book of some sort. Well, we'll open that up right now. Open that up right now if I can get it on, if I can get in there with it. That much effort, I don't want to ruin it. And I left my. I left my. Uh, my exacto knife over there, so. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Storybook. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's. Oh, it is. It's like a ad book for Gaijin, which is a another Wake and Realms game. But the art is. Oh my God, the art is beautiful. It's a storybook for the game. Maybe the prologue to the game or something? I mean, wow. Look at the art. Wow. Even if it's a mini game, I may want to get that just for the art. The art's beautiful. Wow. I want to ruin it for everybody. But wow, that's that's incredible. Makes me want to learn more about that game. Anyway, that is your Meeple copy of... Great one. Well.